The first thing I like to do is brush through my brows and I'm using the MAC brush and I don't know the number on this one because it is gone. <laughs> but it's just a spoolie and you're just gonna go ahead and brush through those brows. You're gonna make any necessary edits to your brows, like if you need to shape them up a little bit more, you might need to shave it, you might wanna cut a little bit off the top. But right now I'm just gonna leave it as is because this is how I would do it anyway. I wouldn't do anything to it. All right, so the first thing I like to use is some brow wax. And today I'm using the brow wax from MAC and this is in the color clear. And it looks like that. That is the wax on there. And I do have a hack for this wax. Yes, yes, I'm rhyming today. But I do have a hack for this wax and it will be on my next eBay haul. So make sure you stay tuned for that and you will find a better way to lay your brows without paying 20 something dollars for this MAC. Brow wax, okay? It's too much money for such a little bit of product. But I do love the wax, I do love it. It does really, really help the brows. So I'm just gonna coat my brows in all of the wax. You see that? Just like that. And do the other side. Just like that. So I'm just gonna brush the hair upwards. Just like that. I hope I'm in focus. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Brush it all up. Because we're going for that bushy, natural, look so you want to make sure your hair is brushed all the way up just like that i know it looks really funny right now but it's gonna come together <laughs> so brush it completely up and that's why you need the wax because the wax is gonna really get those hairs to lay down and shape the way that you would want it sometimes i like to use the opposite hand for the opposite brow so i am right-handed so I'm gonna best get the hair straight up on my left brow. So I like to go in with my left brow, just like so, getting the hairs to stand straight up, like that. You see that? That's gonna best get the hairs to stand up. Now with my right brows, I'm gonna use my left hand. I'm gonna get it all up. And if you want to, you can go back in with a little bit more of the wax. But usually I don't, but I'm just gonna do it for the sake of the video, just in case you guys need it a little bit more on there. And run that brush through it one more time. And I forgot to tell you guys to have the brush, have the brush turned this way. It's gonna be easier to get the hairs to go up. You see that? It's going the right way. And then I'm gonna switch hands, do it this way gonna get it to go up naturally now we're gonna go ahead and do the fun part so I have two colors that I usually use on my brows I have um, chocolate from Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have um, dark brown I do use ebony too when I want to have like a really dramatic brow but today I'm gonna do more of a natural type of brow if you want to call it that um, so Chocolate is like the exact same color as my brow hairs, but I'm gonna go in with the dark brown so you guys can really, really see the um, brow hairs pop. And the brush that I definitely recommend for this is the MAC 208 brush. Looks like that. Very sharp, very short, slanted brush. And that's gonna really, really get those hair-like effects. It's really gonna get that hair really, really tiny. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and in my dark brown. You're gonna make sure it's not dried out. So sometimes I like to go in with a solution and this is from Inglot. And I would just drip a little bit of this inside of this to make it, you know, come to life again. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Just like that. I'm just going over the edges basically with that product. Just like that. Getting it on the brush. Then I'm gonna just Scrape it off because you want that tip to be as sharp as possible. You scrape it off just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead in. I feel like my brows has 
fallen and I don't like that, okay? <laughs> and I like to use my brush upside down, kind of like, you see the slant right there? I like the slant to be facing that way, facing down, the highest tip of it, facing down. Just like that, so you're gonna go in like this, all right? And I'm just gonna, just like that. Now, if you feel like your brush is not giving you a thin look, go back in and do the same thing over again to make sure you are having this brush as thin as possible and that you have enough product on it. Yeah. I'm just going through the hair, it's just like so, like that. Then I'm kind of go through the middle of it. So I'm gonna leave that one like that and I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the other side the exact same way. And I'm just gonna swipe up. Swipe up, you guys, swipe up. <laughs> and just take that throughout the brows. Now I'm doing like the Instagram type of hair strokes because you could do this way more naturally, you guys. And I'll probably do a video for you guys showing you how to do it way more natural. But this is more of, you know, the Instagram-y type of look. Now, I don't like how dark this side is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off that front part. You really wanna just use that tip of the brush. That's gonna give you the lightest and the thinnest effect on your brows. You wanna use that tip. Try not to use the whole thing. Try not to use that whole tip. You just wanna use that very tip right there. So you take it lightly and you just flick it up, flick it up. You see what I mean? You see how much better that looks? And continue doing the rest of it. Like that. So it should be looking something like that. It's kind of scary, but it'll come together. Now, some people just leave it like that and then they go and, you know, carve out their um, brows with concealer. I've never tried it like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it today like that and see what happens. I've never done it like that, but I'm gonna test it out today. So I'm just using my concealer from MAC. I'm gonna use like one shade lighter under my brows. We're gonna go with the flow. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter color here. And this is about two shades, maybe lighter than my, my skin tone. And just carve out the brows. So just like that. And now I'm gonna take that same brush with the darker shade that's gonna be closer to my skin tone. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the top part, but I'm gonna do the top part only towards the tail end. You guys, I've been loving like the bushy brows lately. So I'm liking that. So I just like sharpen the tail end of the brow instead of going all the way up to the front. And I would recommend doing the same color as your brows because looking in the camera, that does look a little bit dark. So I probably should have went in with the chocolate instead of the dark brown, but you guys, you be the judge. Let me know what you guys think is best. So yeah, that's basically the hair technique. <laughs>
leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video because YouTube doesn't show you guys when I upload if you just subscribe you have to click the bell <laughs> so make sure you guys do that and I'll be back with another video very soon and I'm probably I'm probably gonna do part two to this using the chocolate instead of the dark brown and we're gonna see if that looks a little bit more natural and I'm gonna do the little tiny strokes all through the hairs so that's gonna be a more advanced video this is more inter intermediate something a little bit more quick to do on yourself but yeah I love the way it came out so I'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.